Professor Lobowski, we respect you a lot, and uh, it would be good if you can tell us about how lions around 210 countries and geographical areas uh, help each other. Could you elaborate on this? I, I certainly can. Uh, I think you'll find that uh, when you first join a Lions Club, you think it's like any other club that you've joined. But once you get to know what we're doing, that word international, again, what the potential is from this little club over in Taiwan, the miracles that they can perform in countries and areas of the world mm -hmm. where people are starving, they're hungry, uh, I, and you, along with me and the fella in another country, in another country, we form an international group. We pool our monies with the foundation. We have doctors uh, in our organization that represent every constitutional area. And what do they do? I'm sure you're aware of it, but if a foundation grant comes in asking for set amount of dollars, and what the doctors do, they review every one, and they say, this can happen, this is a, uh, an application that unfortunately, sometimes is not the best. Uh, it's, it's really someone that's trying to put in for, we have those people too, that put a, a looking for a grant, it really doesn't have a true good project. What they're saying can't be done. So before we approve that project, we have the doctors from each constitutional area, our experts, especially in the eyes, because we've done so much with eyes. They will review them and they will propose that this one is good, this one is don't don't do this one, and so forth. So then we send the the. Uh, money back uh, to the people that applied for the foundation grant and then they have the money to start be it education be it housing uh, no matter what it is and whoever applied for it originally they're going to know all of the needs because they would have asked for the help for those purposes to again and I can't help but add if we even have people who are damn hungry. I mean, they don't have enough to eat. They have no water wells. Uh, and most importantly, I think, help to make them a living also. You know, it's one thing for you to give me some food, but you're not gonna be around forever. And you're not gonna get me food every day. I have to learn how to grow it. I, I have to make sure that we have supplies in our area. There's so many things that I enter internationalism because what you do, what I do, what he does, it becomes international. We can get so much more done for any given project in the world if we work together. Uh, when I was president, I had a theme. My theme was, we serve better together. Mm. That's what my theme was. We serve better together. And, and I just preached that all over the world. And people caught on, it did catch on, and they were just doing exactly that. And again, once you invite a person in, they get to know what you do locally, because you have a lot of projects locally. Some lions don't, don't they do anything besides local. Well, that's fine, that's up to them. But we have now the affiliation of all over the world. We have experts in medical field, no matter what it is. Uh, we have people that give us the advice, uh, give us all their expertise, tell us how to do it, where to do it, when to do it. There's no way we can't be successful. And again, by working together. And this all starts, once you become a member, you have to have somebody in your club to educate new members. If you don't, you know, well, it's another dinner I'm going to, you know, mm. and, and they get nothing done. And there's so many needs. You read about them, you hear about them, 
you see them on TV. There's some horrible situations out there. And I think as a lion, you don't get the dissatisfaction of being a lion till you get involved in one, just one project where you see it from the bottom and then when you did your thing, you see it reach the top. You see them pulling with their pitchers full of water. You see them eating food. You see a little hut that's built where they didn't have anything. And I'm talking about countries in Africa and so forth. But uh, hell, India, when, when we first started to go into India, if you landed at the airport, the majority of people were living in cardboard boxes all around the airport. They had cardboard boxes they'd get that they were throwing out and uh, they'd build a little hut out of it. Today, uh, you don't see that anymore. That, but it took a long time to wipe that out. Uh, there are still places predominantly uh, in Africa or desert types of uh, areas that don't don't have water wells and it costs today a couple thousand dollars to, to get a water well and you start there we have uh, uh, we had a training session somebody got the idea that uh, this village in uh, where was that in India I believe they had no income People were literally starving. They didn't know how to do anything because they had no education to speak of. They had no training. So what are you going to do with these people? What somebody had the idea to do was to go in there with someone that could teach sewing. They raised enough money to buy uh, 10 or 12 sewing machines. Hmm. Two to start with, one to start with just to train the people how to sew. Did no thing about it. And as they got one on, they kept getting more. And then suddenly, some of these uh, merchants would come in and say, okay, you do nice work. I'll give you, I, I'd like to have a dozen, two dozen, whatever. And they start getting some money in there and start doing a little bit. And I'll tell you, if you go to one of those villages in the beginning, and then after this project is over, and you go, you're going to say, I'm proud to be a lion. And I'm going to invite every one of my friends to get the same self-satisfaction that, that it gives me. Perfect. Thank you so much for uh, the uh, collaboration globally, since uh, we are international. That's right. Yes. Very, very important. Yes, thank you so much, Professor Lobowski. You're welcome.